because we became the ventilator uh, maker of the world. I mean, we are now doing things with ventilators that nobody thought possible. When we took over, we didn't have ventilators. Nobody knew what a ventilator was. We're making thousands of ventilators now a week. And also, by the way, everybody's got ventilators. We're giving them now and selling them to other countries who desperately need them. Other countries are calling up. They desperately need them. With a testing capital, you see the numbers. I mean, I, I, you've seen this before. But the one, this is us in the blue. You're up to 10 million. Now look at this, over 10 million tests. Can we get to a place where the White House is in corporate America where every time you go to work, you just get your temperature taken, you get a test? Is that where we're going? You, is don't, that wanna, you don't wanna be doing that. Look, we wanna go back to, like, you wanna see a baseball game or you wanna see a basketball or football, you wanna walk into a stadium. I went to the Alabama LSU game last year. They had 110,000 people in the stadium. I don't want to see 25,000 people where you have empty seats all over the place when because of distance. When do you think we could get back to that, Mr. President? I How think long we're is this have going to take to get back to normalcy? Yeah, I think we're going to have a vaccine by the end of the year. We're doing very well with the vaccine. And I will tell you something. I just literally left a meeting. We're mobilizing our military and other forces, but we're mobilizing our military on the basis that we do have a vaccine. You know, it's a massive job to give this vaccine. Our military is now being mobilized, so at the end of the year, we're going to be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly. And just you're just meeting. doing something with syringes as well, so that you can have pl it plentiful. That's right. You have enough vaccine. We will have uh, the tremendous force, because assuming we get it, then you have to distribute it. Right. And unless you're mobilized and ready, you're not going to be able to do it for a long time. So we're starting now. We're of the assumption that by the end of the year, we're going to have a vaccine, and then we have to be able to give it, to use it on most of our population, on most of our population, on most of our population. Yeah. Now, we'll focus on elderly. We're going to focus on nursing home and, and you know senior citizen centers. Because that's really, if you look at it, that is so, that is a very vulnerable group. It's a terrible thing. But uh, so we're going to be focused on that. We're going to go. Can with you the divide the country saying, okay, if you're below 50, you're healthy and strong, you're okay, go back to work. Elderly, divide them. Well, we're doing that. And I'm actually saying, like with the schools, open the schools. But if a teacher is 65 or older, especially if they have diabetes, if they have a bad heart, if they have a problem, we say relax for a longer period of time.